Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road of the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games and a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. Like, see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Pro Cycling Manager. It's week 30 of competition, and this is a bonus episode. Uh, it's only the second week since the launch of the game. I figured I might get in too. This might be a little shorter than the normal episode, uh, but I'm trying to feed in a little bit of extra content for you uh, with launch and high demand uh, as the support has been great. Lots of new viewers uh, with the launch here of Pro Cycling Manager. All right, so here we go. It is January 1st. We are heading into season number two. And I am with the UHC United Healthcare team. So I've moved on up to the Pro Continental uh, Division for Season 2. And like Season 1, I intend on hammering out Season 2 as quickly as possible. So final totals for Season 1. Uh, we ended up with 6 victories. We were in 233rd place overall in the Super Prestige with 263 points. And in the rider data, I finished as a 73 uh, with the same attributes as before. So I'm still level 12, but you can see that I'm halfway towards uh, level 13 at this point. see highlights of the year uh, Japan Cup at the end of the year I finished 18th I was so close in the chrono destinations uh, it was a time trial it was Nielsen Palace I believe who ended up taking first in that one and there was a pretty good gap from him to me but there was a pretty good gap from me back to third uh, so that was a really solid finish getting a top two and then you can see uh, these are my other end of season finishes. Uh, I got 14th on a stage. And then the last one was the USA Championships. The time trial. Alright, so going back to the home, let's see. Here's the close of Transfer Market. Here's a few of the biggest moves. Uh, Simon Yates moved on to Sunweb, uh, Sepp Van Mark went to FDJ, uh, Tim Wellens went to Mitchelton Scott, uh, Stuyven to UAE, uh, Van Aert to Sunweb, uh, Jan Izaguera to FDJ, uh, Ulysses to uh, a smaller team, Hernandez. Willems, uh, Costa, Rui Costa, Tabora, uh, Kamajan to FDJ, and Lambert to Israel Cycling, cycling Team. Okay, and I'll go ahead and take a look at our schedule. Uh, as I'm still in the Continental Division off World Tour, uh, I will be participating in the Cyanide Cups. And then our first one is the Cyclista Mallorca. So we're going to head to Spain for our first one of the year. That's a pretty good one. And right off the bat, we can already see that this is a team that's going to have a lot more races suited to my abilities. And speaking of, taking a look at the team, I'm already top for the team. Uh, so I should see a lot fewer teammate uh, tactical approaches and get a lot of chances to lead races. And unlike the previous team, where it was all sprinters around me, you can see the next best um, Acevedo and Vetkov are both climbers uh, and then Nathan Brown is a climber and then a time trial specialist so there's definitely some support puncher climber 
among those around me and not a whole lot of sprinters. Okay, uh, comparing it out, I'm still uh, the weakest on the flat and that's going to be a concern. Uh, oh, this is, everyone's way down because of fitness, so there's no point in looking at that right now. Uh, let's see, no injuries at this point. And we need to take care of that fitness. All right, so it is preseason. Uh, we need to take a look at our season objectives. Okay, so Tour of oh, oh, Oman, Giro d'Italia. I don't think we're going to get an invitation to the Giro d'Italia uh, or the Perry Tour. Well, we should be at the Amgen Tour of California. But for me, Gotta be the USA Championships. I want to repeat. And I went to the World Championships last year, so it would be nice to go back again. There you go. And then. I don't want to peak too early. That's not until June, so we want to go a little bit later. Uh, Finisterre. Croatia. What's that one like? Okay. I think that's our winner right there. Uh, now, as I'm peaking late, let's start with low so I don't have too much fatigue. Okay, let's confirm the objectives. And then we'll move on in the timer. All right, we're on to the Cyanide Cup, and it's cup number two. The first one was a sprint stage. Uh, I was given the role of teammate and earned no points because I was never given a chance to work at the front. Same thing today. I've tried to. I can't get credit. We had a teammate off the front, though we've caught them, and even after we caught them, I still couldn't get credit for riding at the front. Uh, we're on the penultimate climb. I am not among the favorites, which was why I was designated as a teammate yet again, yet there is no team later today. Uh, the group was split down to about 20 riders, uh, though a lot of that came back together uh, on the descent. And here we are again with about 20 riders coming through with just the one climb to go. And if we can keep it down to about 30 riders over this last climb, I should be in contention for a top 15 or so. As it's still just the start of the season, race, race day condition is a zero, uh, but with a fitness of 64, I still have quite a few negatives, uh, like stamina and hill are both taking a little bit of a hit, but we don't have a lot of climbing left to do. Uh, that last climb was uh, far steeper than the one we're on right now. And there we go, up over the top. Unfortunately, the group's actually coming back together even more. Uh, 53 riders now at the front. That means there's got to be at least a few sprinters left in the group. Five kilometers remaining. 
And we'll slow it down here for the final 4K. Okay, use my energy gel. Any more climbing before the line? It is all a little bit of an uphill. Now it's 63 riders coming together, but most at the back are just coming and they're probably coming tired. Alright, now I'm going into the sprint and they're all flying right by me. <laughs> a great win in the sprint of the strongman. Group should have been split up more. The riders bringing up their rear have made it through sheer willpower. This stage was a real strength zapper. Quite a few big names well down the list. Martin, uh, Ulysses, Degan. Uh, Ivager. And here are the race highlights that we've selected for you. So, a bunch sprint with a bunch of non-sprinters, but I'm about the farthest from a non-sprinter that's out there. Alright, so it's Cyanide Cup number three. Peloton has shrunk significantly though. A lot of it's starting to come back together, but a lot of those riders uh, will not have recovered a whole lot, so uh, it's likely to go right back down. Uh, for the first time this season, I am given the task of leader uh, seen as an outsider. Uh, goal for the day is to finish in the top 15. Uh, I am being helped by my team, but I'm not being helped by my fitness. I still have very low fitness. My race day conditions are minus one. Uh, so I'm looking at some pretty low attributes in a race that I could otherwise uh, do pretty well at. Uh, I'll take it though. I'm looking pretty good as we head to the final climb of the day, though the finish line itself has a bit of an ascent to it. Uh, we've been up and over this climb a couple times already. Uh, it's not a serious climb, but it is enough to uh, knock out a whole lot of riders. You can see the field is pretty well spread out at this point as we head to the base of the climb now. Now, I don't want to work too hard here on the climb, as I know that the climb, the race is not going to be won on this climb. It could certainly be lost, but it's not going to be won. Alright, so we are halfway up already. Uh, still 50 riders, but it's going to shrink here in probably just a moment. The pace isn't that bad right now. I've got to keep an eye on this, make sure that I do not run out before the top of the climb so that I do have that chance to recover. There is an attack for Sanov. Not worried about him getting away. Even if he goes off and wins, I'm pushing for a top 15. Not necessarily the win today. Especially with this low fitness level. Just trying to pick up some points. Okay, and we are just about to hit the top and I am still good to go and with that downhill I'll recover a bit uh, now just 18 riders left uh, I would imagine those nine behind us will certainly come back up to us uh, but much of that peloton will not make its way back this time they were pretty beat going into it okay little flat section then we continue the descent uh, final climb is not very steep uh, but it will definitely split things off a little bit to where it's definitely not a day for sprinters meaning I've got a chance here right now at least in terms of placement I'm looking at a top 19 finish and fairly well recovered here on the downhill
We bag our first result of the season. Maybe not necessarily a win, but can we at least get into the placings? It's looking pretty good. Just 5k to go. And we're coming up on the guy who got away from us. Alright, here comes the attack. Seven riders going off. And I might be looking at squeezing in between them. So I might be fighting for eighth place here. Oh, I did not expect that to go down just like that. All right, uh, we are out of energy. So what can we do? Looks like I can maybe outrace a guy or two here. But here comes at least one from the group behind us. Oh, Santoro. That's my old teammate. Monkey Town. This is more his specialty. So, Martin gets a win. Ulysses second. Uh, Santoro there in sixth. I'm just outside that top ten. I should be good for a top fifteen here. As predicted. And there you go. Fourteenth. Where I needed to be. All right, so this is stage two of Mallorca. Uh, there are lots and lots of big names here. I would be given the role of team leader if only we were in with a chance. The team believes, excuse me, the team believes that the better chance comes from getting some attention in the breakaway. Uh, so they've sent me forward, but as I've mentioned before in the previous episodes, the breakaway is nothing to be scoffed at anymore. They have really, really changed the way that the the breakaway is played out. And I've had a very difficult time just trying to get in the breakaway. Peloton never took it easy on us. I, I had to attack quite a few times uh, before I was finally given enough of a gap uh, to actually stay away. But the Peloton's still been pushing. It's like they're still not happy with the makeup of of the group. And so their pace has been way too high. I actually hope that this little bit of a crash here might might be enough to get them to back off. Uh, one by one, they've been picking off uh, the groups of the breakaway. And you can see that I'm still caught out in no man's land. Uh, nearly two minutes behind. So there's actually a really good chance that I'm going to just end up being swept up by the peloton here. Uh, the big thing is whether I'm getting any credit at all for this uh, six kilometers. So no, by not being in the front group, uh, I'm not getting the credit that I need. So now they've caught back up with uh, the others that I've left behind. Uh, so now I'm the only one in, in no man's land and there's still a huge group. Looks like we lost one rider to that crash. We'll see if I can close the gap down. This is a fairly lengthy climb, uh, and I don't think so. Peloton's right on my tail, and I'm losing the gap. So uh, that's it. I'm back in the Peloton. Uh, hopefully I can recover enough uh, to stay in the Peloton during the next descent. So I did not make it into the breakaway group today. Okay, we're still on stage number two. We're approaching the end of the race. On that long climb, I had not recovered much from getting uh, after getting caught by the peloton. So uh, I did get dropped on that climb. However, uh, I kept pushing to the front past a lot of other riders that got dropped uh, later than I, I did. And then picked up a group on the descent where I'm just behind the main group. That's them right ahead with Vetkov uh, in amongst them. So I'm still in for a shout, at least for a decent finish here, uh, depending on how these final 12k go. And if I can move up a little bit, I've done a fair amount of recovering here and should, at least on that short ascent at the end, uh, be able to make up a little bit of ground and maybe see myself inside the top 30. 
Uh, hopefully, I'm certainly looking at a top 40. Uh, we'll see if I can improve upon that as we get to the finish line. Let's speed it up to the ascent, though. Okay, just about there. 5K to go. And here we go. You can see there's the climb right up there. And we're at the base of it now. I'll go ahead and use my energy gel. And I would like to make up some ground here without overdoing it. I should just stay in the group. Watch out! A team leader is falling behind. All right, we are under 2k to go. Yeah, I'm getting held up here. There goes the sprint. The strong men are giving Stay on this guy's wheel. Rigoberto Uran with the stage win. Uh, Bill Bao is fourth. Formolo is third. Wow, Valverde down in fifth. And there we go. I did move up a bit. I didn't crack the top 20. Uh, but I did pass quite a few riders on the way up. Uh, let's see. A couple other names. You got Michael Woods, uh, Harada. They're rounding out the top 10. Peter Sagan, who won stage 1, finished 12th. Uh, Richie Port, surprisingly, all the way down in uh, 14th. Uh, Tish Benut, right behind him. Dylan Toynes. You can see we're loaded. Loaded. With some big names. And let's see. Vetkov got 28th. I got 37th. Really? I, I passed... Probably 10 riders. Apparently I can't count. I thought there was only 40, and I certainly moved ahead of some riders on the way up there. Okay, well, we are in the top 40 at least. Uh, there is one more climbing stage, stage 3 to go, and then stage 4 is a sprint stage. So um, we'll wrap up this episode with a little bit of footage from stage 3. We'll see how that one goes and see where our final placement is. So we're in stage three. There's only a single rider off the front now. Uh, Peloton saw a big split uh, on the climb before this last one, and it never came back together. I happened to be near the front on it. Uh, we did have a larger group than this, but on that category two climb that we just went over a little bit ago uh, here on the stage, uh, while it wasn't terribly steep, it was steady. Uh, I went up for quite a while, and that was enough to split the field up yet again, and it cut us down to uh, less than two dozen riders at the front, and I barely made it over the top, uh, but I am in recovery. We have a nice descent coming up here, so unless we get caught by the other groups, I'm looking pretty good for a potential top 25 today and a chance to move up the standings uh, and likely into the top 25 uh, overall. Uh, my task today was to work at the front of the group as a teammate, so I'm going to be missing out on that. Uh, we had a rider in the breakaway, <clears throat> which prevented me from getting credit uh, for working at the front. So. Now that there would technically be an opportunity, there's no point as I have no teammates in the peloton. Just me. Alright. Uh, the big back-to-back -back cat two climbs, more or less one climb with a small descent in between, uh, is coming up here shortly. We'll speed up to that point. I'm recovered as about as well as I can be for that. Ooh, and we just came back together with the chase group. Uh, and they're sending me off to orders, but a little late for that now. All right, here we go on the climb, the longer of the two. And I'm right where I'd love to be, right at the front. 
trying not to push it too hard uh, and actually I'm gonna even back off a little further I might lose some ground on these guys however I've not got a lot of energy left and there it goes okay going up to 99 we'll go as fast and as hard as we can up here over the top I'm one of the first ones to get dropped 25 riders left up there oh and it's De Jong with me at least it's a teammate ride together picked up a couple other guys there we go up and over the climb there's 25 riders ahead of us we're the second group out on the track and if we're lucky we might be able to catch a few on the ascent here now they still haven't split up halfway up the climb They stay together and they're three minutes ahead of us, so we are not going to be catching those. So I'm looking for a top 30 placement now. Uh, we are here on the descent. I'm going to just try to hang on. I need to recover for a bit. I will, I will. Oops, there goes De Young. He just fell. And Vetkov. Vetkov was just catching up. Group behind us. Alright, so I'm left with just three riders now. I'm not going to wait for them. They're two minutes behind. We are not going to catch that group at the front, so I'm definitely looking at 26th, 27th, 28th place. To send this hard and as fast as I can. Already losing riders and they're just leveling off. Okay, coming up for that last climb. Oh, the finish line looks like it's a little bit of an uphill as well. Alright, going into attack mode. Okay, just two of us left. One of them's getting away, uh, but I don't want to over push here. We've got 2k to go to the top here. Attack with the finishing line within reach. The finish line is getting close. The riders just passed the five kilometers road sign. Oh my, the guys up front aren't going to be making too many friends today. Use my energy gel, try to get a little bit more out of this. Has fallen. Oh, big fall on the group at the end. I might be able to catch some of them. Ooh, I just ran out of energy right before the top. A little bit of a downhill here. I can recover some for that final little ascent. Uh, my fitness is still only 70%, so you can see my attributes are all down. Peter Sagan with second win in three stages. Uh, Uron second behind him, so he's had back-to-back -back podium finishes. Uh, Valverde there in fourth again, right behind Ben Hermans. And I'm on the final climb. 1.5k to go to the top. I'm outside of the top 20. Should be in. Oh no! Big group of ten riders. They're all gonna fly past me. Uh, that that cost me some positions. Vetkov catches me right at the line, so I get 35th on the stage. So I'm right about the same place as I was on the last stage. And that'll be about my placement overall. Not bad for my first time going up against a bunch of top world tour riders. I mean, you can see there's Richie Port again, just inside the top 15.
Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.